Let's take a look at the improvements to Treehouse in SOLIDWORKS 2016. Treehouse was introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2015 and it was a great way to review existing assembly structure and also plan your assembly structures up front. It's been taken a step further in SOLIDWORKS 2016, particularly where you want to create um, a new assembly based on the existing. We want another version of this gearbox assembly created. We now have the option on the right click menu to save it as a new document. We just simply give it a new name and press OK. We have some sub assemblies and top level components within this um, gearbox assembly. I'm going to also save one of the sub assemblies as a new document, as well as the drive shaft within it as a new document. It was possible for us to access custom property information from the models. We can still do that, but we now have the op additional option to access configuration specific properties. So I can cycle through the various configurations of the drive shaft, having a look at the properties unique to those configurations. If I go to the 250, all I'm going to do is suffix the number property with 250. We can also access the configurations of the model and it's possible for us to add configurations and derive configurations. We now have the option to remove configurations. So I've just removed the 150 mil configuration. It's also possible to delete documents from our assembly structure. So I can right click on this top level component, the gearbox casing, and just go ahead and remove that document. Now when I'm happy with the changes that I've made, to this assembly structure, I can export this to SOLIDWORKS documents. I can then open up that SOLIDWORKS document and have a look at it. Another new option within 2016 is it will automatically open the created documents after export. So if we just go ahead and export that, pick a suitable folder, So here we have our SOLIDWORKS assembly, as you can see, um, the gearbox has been suffixed with Rev2, as has the sub-assembly here, and if we open up the drive shaft, which is also suffix Rev2, we can have a look at the properties, and if we go into the configuration specific properties and have a look at the 250 mil variant, you can see the number has been suffixed with 250. Similarly, if I go to the listed configurations, 100, the 150 mil configuration no longer exists. So we've seen some nice additions to Treehouse in this release. If we just summarize them. We can now save as a new document in Treehouse. We can remove a document from the assembly structure. We can modify configuration specific properties and we can automatically open in SOLIDWORKS after export.